everyone. Remember the chaos here, like usual. Welcome back to more in the last part. We pulled the master sword out of the pedestal of time and met one Rurur, one of the six stages. And now we we met a person named Shika and she told us to go to Kakariko Village. So we're gonna head on out. Okay, so like I said in the last video, I really like this part better. This like being adult link more than hit child link because yeah weapons you get are better so well, the equipment you get are better so if you com coming into Kakariko village you'll notice that the sky is why the noticing why the sky is darkening well since now we're in seven years seven years in the future a lot has changed like for one um there's a building there with a construction workers were working on. That's finished, that red building there, which has some reason to become the Archer Village. So anyone who was in Hyrule living there at the time, now lives in this tiny little village, which... I don't know. So what you want to do is go back, come over here to the graveyard. Shit. I forgot to plant some magic beans. Ah, uh, yeah, we can no longer use our magic beans since now we're in seven years in the future. But, eh, that doesn't really concern us. Um. Going into this house here, this is Dompe's house. Um. Let's, read this. let's check the book. The Gravekeeper's Diary is here. Do you want to read it? Yes. Whoever reads this. Please enter my grave. I will let you have my stretching streak and keepsake. I am waiting for you, Dante. Okay. I forget which one is the grave. Is this, this one? No, wait a minute. I honestly forget which grave it is. Um... Shit. Um, wait. Is it over here? No. What's this say? Rest in peace. Your lies and yeah, blah, 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 blah. Um... I'm gonna cut ahead until we actually find the grave, so hold on just a moment. Okay, now that I found the freaking grave that we have to... This one. I are totally smart. But hey, we all forget things sometimes. If you notice, we go down here. Go down the hole. We get a question mark. And you notice, oh my god, Dompe's a ghost! Hey, <laughs> hey, been out looking, but I'm confident much to be. Let's have a race. Follow me here. So yeah, if you want to follow him, he's pretty much racing him. Well, you pretty much gotta follow him and get to the finish line at a certain time. So yeah, you wanna follow him? He'll, start, he'll try to play a little trick on you. I think I'm not too sure. If you hit those flames. Try try to avoid the flames as as they'll slow you down. I'll try to do my best and not to get hit by the flames. Yeah, I almost got hit there because I almost walked into it. So yeah, nothing really exciting uh, going on here, it's just us chasing him like a buffoon. Yeah, I don't try to use the locking on lock on system as much. Yeah, this is where it slows us down. But he'll slow down a little bit. Um, I think. Not totally sure. Now he's gonna freaking go up. Cause he's a cheating bastard. We want to hurry up and get there as fast as we can. This door opens, you want to head in there, and boom, a minute three. Alright, not bad. So after that, you're done that. Talk to him. The time of this race was a minute three seconds. Hey, 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 young man, you are very quick to be able to keep up with me. Hey, hey, hey. As a reward, I'm going to give you my treasure. It's called the hookshot. 
Its spring-loaded chain will pull you to any spot where its hook sticks. Doesn't that sound cool? I'm sure it will help you. I live here now, so come back again sometime. I'll give you something cool. One more thing. Be careful on your way back. And the chest just spawns in front of us. I don't... He, like I said, we're just getting the hook shot out of this, so... We got the hook shot, yes. You found the hook shot. It's a spring-loaded chain that can use, that you can cast out the hook things. You can use it to drag distant items towards you, or you can use it to pull yourself towards something. While holding C, you can aim with the control stick and shoot it by releasing C. So yeah, launch it on there, head on out, and it's like, what? It's a trap. Well, see how there was one of these things in um, the Goron City? What you want to do is, while you're Ocarina, and play the Song of Time, and in doing so, will pretty much teleport those things somewhere else. You know, those are blocks of time, I'm guessing. I don't know. I'm just going to say the, time, the timer jiggies or something. I don't know. So, so once you're done, going go up here. I never actually went in here before, but there's a heart piece that now we can grab that we couldn't get as a child. So we're just gonna wait at wait on we're just gonna wait and wait for it to spin around and jump. Yes, it's going so very, 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 very slow. Once you're lined up, jump and we get another easy piece of heart. And we got three. One more, and we get another 11 hearts from here. But since we're here, I think we're gonna get another song. So, if you, um, I love here and talk to him. He's like, Grr! I'll never forget what happened on that day seven years ago. Grr! It's all that Ocarina kid's fault. Next time he comes around here, I'm gonna mess him up. Yeah. Okay, so what you wanna do is pull your Ocarina. He's like, what? You got an ocarina? What the heck? That reminds me of that time seven years ago. Back then, a mean kid came here and played a strange song. It messed up this strange, it messed up this windmill. I'll never forget this song. Now we get a new song called The Song of Storms. This isn't really needed for anything lately, but I don't know what it's I forget what it's for, but I'll look up into it. If you notice, the the Song of Storms thing was pink, but we'll get into that later. Song of Storms, blah blah blah. We'll come we'll have to come here later and see. If you notice the windmill's going faster and fuck this, I'm just gonna go around because it's much faster. And head and roll into a wall apparently. Um, head on out. So, once we're done here, now that we got the hook shop, shop, shot, we're gonna head towards the forest temple now, but before we do that, we're gonna go get someone, or something. Remember back at, um, at, um, well, actually, I'm just drunk as well. I'll meet you guys at Long Long Ranch, so see you guys in just a moment. Now that we've gotten that, um, Go inside, and also, since seven years have passed, a few things have here have changed as well. You notice? Know what it's different, kinda ish. I don't know. There's a chicken there. If you notice, there's that guy that I said in the stable that I hate him. Oh, well, now he's the owner, and Milan's in the. They pretty much changed roles. So, what you wanna do is go up to him. So, once you get in the cam talk to him, he'll, say he'll offer you a horse, but, remember, if you play the opponent's song, you can see there's a opponent's ass in the background, to, to your right, but, Epona will recognize the song, and she'll come up to you, to you, and this is the best horse we can get, what you want to do is climb on top of her, and fuck this lag, uh, we're not going to have a freaking flashback to what happened last time, eh? Our uh, leg's not too bad. 
what you want to do is you want to jump the fence. In doing so will get you five rupees. If you jump the other, jump the other fence. It'll give you another five rupees as well. Short time and stock room. For fox eggs. Okay. Hopefully I don't fuck this up. What the hell? Hold on, give me a minute. You're getting better. How about a little race with me? One lap around the corral with that horse. Let's make a little wager, say. 50 rupees? Do it. Yes, let's do it. Now we're, now we're betting money for a race. This lies and lies the frame rate too much. What you want to do is just beat him. He'll try and cut you off like he's doing to us right now. So we'll just let him have the lead. Um, that was a chance, but okay. I'm just gonna head up speed right by him. Come on, fuck off, dude! You're on my tail! Are you fucking serious? We lost! Holy shit! Why? Okay, now that we've beat him this time, fucking sorry excuse for a player I am, fuck. Sheesh. Anyways, he'll be like, Watch the shoot! The great Ganondorf found out about this humiliation. Hey, you, how about another race? If you win, you can keep the horse. And now he... Now this is gonna be much harder this time. We're gonna save the game. Um, get a save state in, so I can fucking redo this again. So now he'll literally try to cut the, cut us off this time. But as you can see, we're already ahead of him. So just let us let our carriage raise back. Let's try to cut ahead of us. So yeah, this is easy. Easier this time, fuck. Make sure, and we got it! Yes, we beat him a second time. Oh, fuck, I hate these races, fuck. They're so annoying. What's up with that horse? Is that a Pona? How did you tame that wild horse right under my nose? I was going to present that horse to the great Ganondorf, but I bet it on a race and lost. Shoot! Ha ha ha! As I promised, I'll give the horse to you. However, I'll never let you leave this ranch! Yeah, so... We're probably thinking, we're stuck, eh? Well... No. We're not. So just... Hop over that and we're free. Hallelujah. Now we get a horse. Now we can ride this damn thing wherever the hell we want in this field, making transportation much quicker. Give her gives a gives him a pat on the bat and pets it. Now I believe if you go back 
again to the ranch, things will things will be different again. Oh yeah, so we're gonna go see Ingo again, yes, that's it. If you get off, you'll notice that Ingo is not wearing the same clothes, so that must mean things must have changed again. Hi there, how are you? I am Ingo. I feel so honored to be allowed to work here. So I guess he's no longer the owner, so let's go into the stable and see if Malon is still there. And she is not. What the hell? Um... Yeah, um, I, we have no reason to be here, to be honest, so I'm just gonna take a look and see what's different here, and we roll into a wooden door. Oh, I kinda get this now. Oh, I'm just making two, I'm just putting two and two together now. Uh, don't mind me, I'm just, yeah. There's my wall. There she is. You notice there's a song. And it's been seven years. Thank you very much for the other day. I haven't even asked you your name yet. Really? Link? That's what I thought. You're the fairy boy from the forest. That was years ago. Do you remember me? You do? I was sure it was you because the opponent remembered you. Oh, I have to tell you about Mr. Ingo. He was afraid that the evil king might find out that the opponent had been taken away. It really upset him. But one day, all of a sudden, he went back to being a normal, nice person. Now my dad is coming back. I can't believe it, but peace is returning to this ranch. It's all because of you. I owe you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Link. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I think that's about it for this episode. Next time, we're actually gonna head towards the Forest Temple. So, I'll see you guys then.